OK, we're getting to the end of this chapter. And remember, this is fundamental things, not every single little detail. There's just a couple of things I want to show you. The two main things left to show you is I want to show you the basic key commands, the most fundamental key commands, and a quick look at how to make key commands. And I want to show you screen sets. OK, but there's a couple of little things left before that. And one of them is this. I'll tell you something about logic that's always been a, a pain in the arse. Let's say I've got a bunch of regions on this track. OK. Now, you can get into problems because let's say you are... Um, let's say that you're further down the track here. OK. And you can't see the music that's at the beginning of the track. OK. Now... If I select this track, it, by default this is, let me just hide that inspector column. By default, when you select a track, Logic selects every bloody region on that track, look. And that can be a problem because you have to always do this thing where you click on the background to make sure nothing's selected before you then highlight and select a whole bunch of things to then move them or whatever. Okay, You've got to be really careful that you don't select everything by clicking the track. Well, there's an option to turn that off. And I recommend you do it, and that's well. I, you know, it's uh, be aware of it. Okay, Logic Pro preferences global, and if you go from project handling the default global tab to the editing tab, look here. Select regions on track selection. I recommend that you deselect that, perhaps because that way, when you select the track, it doesn't select all the regions which can get you into problems. Now, there's another thing you can do to stop yourself getting into those problems, and that is this. Look, if I um, still want to edit and move regions around at a place further along the track or whatever, but I want the regions here to just not be able to be moved by accident, there's a command for that, which is lock region simpty position. Okay, now the key command for that is command, and then there's a strange eye pair of icons on on the Apple keyboard. Okay, you've got the QWERTY bit on the left of the keyboard, the main keyboard area, and then on the right you've got the numbers pad with the plus minus and star and all that. Right. And then you've got the little four arrow keys that live in the middle. Well, above the arrow keys is a little cluster of nine buttons. You've got delete, in for insert, or function, or whatever that is. Fn. And you've got a couple of arrows pointing diagonally upwards to the left and diagonally downwards to the right. And then next to that, on the right side of that little cluster of nine buttons, you've got these two odd-shaped arrow keys. I'm not actually sure what they're called, but one is a little arrow pointing up with two bar, two lines drawn through the vertical arrow, and the other is a little arrow pointing down with two lines going through the the arrow. Okay, so what you do is you highlight the regions, and then you hold down Command and you press. Watch that the down arrow key that's the arrow with the little stripes through it okay and each of these regions if I zoom in now you can see it's got a padlock on it see that see that padlock okay they're locked in simply position which means they're locked in time linearly so if I now if I put this uh, preferences global back to select regions on track selection these are now locked but these ones further up are not. Okay, so I select that and go to move like that, and they initially appear to move when I let go. Look, see? These have moved, but these have stayed locked in their original position. And that's a very important thing to get into the habit of doing. When you're working on a track, you've recorded some music on it, and you're working further down the track or further back at the beginning. Any time you're working on a track and you're working on a bit of the track on one particular track and you cannot see to the left and right of that like some of the content is out of view to the left or right just when you finish something 
and you still need to work on the whole tracks adding extra bits so you can't lock the whole track down using this track protect lock then use that to lock individual regions to make sure they can't be moved or, or messed around with okay so command and now to unlock them I'm going to use the funny arrow key pointing upwards there you go and they're unlocked and the down funny pointed arrow key with the little stripes through it Actually, let me just hang on. Um, the other thing is, when I'm holding down command, it's changing the mouse tool to become the scissors because that's the command click, right? So, in case you're wondering why it's changing to that all the time, that's what it is. So, look, I've highlighted these regions. Command, click the funny shaped arrow tool pointing down, and they're locked. Okay, that's an extremely useful thing. I'll just show you that one more time. I highlight the whole lot, or I select the track which highlights the whole lot, and these ones are out of sight and they go from bar 4 to the end of bar 11. All right, but they're out of sight. Now, I'd forgotten or I don't realize they've been selected, and I go to move these ones, and I drag them, and I let go, and these three have moved. But if I go back, these are still locked in their original position. Now that is a very, very useful thing to learn. Lock down the stuff that you've done and is fixed and you don't want it to get messed around with in time. Because once things get moved and you don't notice it, you can get into all sorts of problems going back and trying to put things back where they were. Okay, So I'll just unlock those now. Command and the funny up arrow key. There we are. Let's delete those by backspacing. And delete those by backspacing. Okay, so that's the um, the locking regions. <coughs> what else have we got? Okay, that apart from the screen sets and the uh, key commands, I think that's the lot. I mean, in terms of you know the basics. Yeah. Yes, we've covered all that. Do, 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 do. Yes, we did that. Yeah, we've done. I'm just looking at. I've got a paper list here. Yeah, we did folder tracks. Okay, so that leaves two things, two main things. That's our key commands, our fundamental, most important key commands, and screen sets. So let's move on and do those.